I selected another uh, area of this conservation area. And I think it's like the waterfowl hunting area. On the map, it looks like a big, uh, terrible looking pond. Wow, you look at the map and there is, the road stops. Oh, and it's, it's, so how do you get over there? Now the road ends. Google Maps is routing me straight. There is no road. <laughs> Service road, I can't go right. Okay, ready for this? 355th Street. So Google Maps says, uh, just keep going, you're good. You got this, you're almost there. So go straight, right? This is telling me to go straight. If I go straight, I'm gonna hit the tree. If I could just Michael Scott my way through it, end up in a lake. You don't have to watch me fumble my way, well, my way through life here. I'll, I mean, I think you have to go up and way around. Holy crap. Either way, okay, sorry, 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 sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. So I have to go all the way around, way up north, and come around back to get to that waterfowl hunting area. Is it worth it? Probably not. I mean, I just wanted to find a good place to sit and eat lunch now that it's two o'clock. I'll be darned, did, 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 did. an actual sign for the conservation area. I see I can hunt waterfowl here because this all probably stays pretty wet. This little field here probably stays pretty saturated. Habitat for waterfowl. A lot of dead ends in one day, my friends. Handicap. Oh, that side's handicap. This one's not. Okay, cool. Let's label my track. The drive from where I was to here, we'll just call it this. All right, thank you very much. And this is parking for, I mean, there's a disabled sign here, but both, there's only two spots. They're both for disabled hunters. That's pretty cool. So I was hoping to like uh, take pictures of some waterfowl, but it's probably the wrong time of day. Okay, here we are in the blazing sun. November sweat day. This isn't, I just want to walk at the end of this hot sidewalk and see how many more gates we can shut to keep us Missouri residents out of our Missouri conservation area. Uh, what the f It's a hay structure. I thought it was just a bale of hay, but there's like a, it's covering. This is weird. Oh, this is, oh, duh. This is where they, this is their camera. They sit in here with their guns and shoot waterfowl it's kind of kind of oh frogs so they sit in here how do you get in there you sit in here stick your rifle out and shoot the birds that's fun and how do you wait a minute you shoot a bird it lands in the fucking water how the hell do you get the bird right how do you get the your hound dog gonna swim i guess i've seen that in movies <laughs> Obviously, not a hunter. Seriously, that's a valid question. Especially if you're hunting when the water's cold. You train your dog, it'll jump in there, I guess. Whatever, I don't know, man. There's so many things in the world I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I gotta say, the structure kind of freaked me out when I realized it was a structure covered by hay before my brain started working. I just saying something like Blair, Blair Witchy or something. <laughs> something. Uh, then I realized, oh, this is where hunters hunt I mean really a bird is gonna can't you just be quiet and stand out here they're really that smart I guess so I don't know cool I wish I saw some waterfowl I'd shoot it with my lens maybe I'm scaring them scaring the birds there's nothing here. It's the middle of the day it's just a bad time of day all right well we saw this so <laughs> it's a big old nothing burger this was interesting though I gotta say the hay structure the forerunner needs some flair man just silver and black. I mean, come on. You need to put some yoder stripes there, or some crap. I don't know. I feel like if I do anything, I'll regret it. I can't. I'm just an indecision maker. <laughs> you got your decision makers, and then you got your indecision makers, which are actually non decision makers. I couldn't make up my mind of what I wanted to call myself a decision, a non decision maker or an indecision maker. Hey, buddy. What up, Chippewapa? It's a woodpecker. I can tell because he's 
getting ready to peck the wood. Don't be afraid. Go peck or go. I should take his picture at least. I did bring my zoom lens. It's great. Anybody else? Pecker? What up, Pecker? All right, no more peckers. So I think we've uh, squeezed all the life out of this trip that we're gonna squeeze. It's not even a trip, it's a, it's a journey. What? Shut up. Comment if you have ideas for the Forerunner, like some kind of, some kind of tchotchke, some kind of flare, you know? I do like the Toyota stripes where they come up here and I was thinking like the blue that has like the dark blue, the light blue and the white or whatever, I don't know. And then they have ones that go down the side like that, but I never, I don't really like the look of that as much, but I don't know. So if you do like, just did that, I don't feel like something will have to, see it opens up a can of worms. I don't know, there's a bee on me. Let's see what kind of bee is that? Does he sting? Hmm. You can go away though. Somebody comment and make that decision for me. They don't need to modify much of anything else. Not putting bigger tires on it until these tires go. And then if I get bigger tires, I'll have to, definitely have to re-gear. Definitely have to have different suspension. It's a whole can of worms, so and it probably will never happen. But I'm talking about flare. I'm talking about looks. I'm talking about vanity. I'm talking about the look, baby. All right, well, you know, I did a thing today. I didn't, didn't not do a thing. I definitely did a thing. I mean, I didn't see the largest ball of twine or anything, but that's okay. You can always do that. Those are some good looking bathrooms. I'm just gonna give you a tour of the bathroom because that is really where we're at in the excitement of this video. The lid's up and it shouldn't be, but it doesn't stink at all. And you look in there, I'm not even gonna, but it's just water. It's just no one's used this. Nobody comes out here. Nobody knows about this place. In fact, is there supposed to be a door? There's little concrete notches for where a door maybe was. Oh, this will be good. Here's the title for this video. You ready? You take a picture right here and you say, uh, exploring shitters. I don't know. Ah, gotta come up with something. In search of the greatest bathroom ever. I don't know. Something, something so dumb. Oh my God. This is better than putting on socks. Oh, I'm going to come up with something great. Ah, awesome. I'm so excited now. Cable TV. I don't know if you can see it, but the other side, there's par I saw there was parking there. So there's someone actually parked there too. Looks like there used to be a bridge here, maybe. I don't know. Some kind of platform there. South Grand River actually flowing there. That's great. And look at these gates. Like this is probably like you could probably drive along the the uh, dam here, whatever you want to call this. There's a gate behind me. But that's obviously old and overgrown now. So, whatever. So you got the, this truck up here on the right that's got two huge coolers on the back of this truck. So what, I'm assuming he's out here hunting waterfowl and puts what he catches in there? I don't know. Wow, now this is a tiny town. What is this, Dayton? Holy crap, they got a fire station. Well, if they're incorporated, yeah, they think they have, don't they have to have a fire? I don't know. That's a qualification. There's a big old church in town. There's a fire station. You got yourself a church, community church. You got yourself a in town petting zoo. And the town is over. That was it. Cemetery. You gotta have a cemetery, right? Is that a cemetery? Darn tootin', that's a cemetery. There you go. You got your town, you got your church, fire station, your cemetery. On to our next adventure. Not now, but sometime. Yeah. Concentrate on the good stuff. And if you're in a lull, that's all right. Just just wait a little bit. Just wait a little bit. It's funny because I got uh, uh, contacted today for a job that is going to take me pretty far west, like halfway to Colorado. Here in the next couple of weeks, maybe. 
So I took it. I'm like, okay. And I, if I can't see Colorado, I can't see something like that, then uh, at least see the largest ball of twine, maybe. Right, Russ? Good talk, Russ.